I built four robot arms. I have a checklist of 20 challenges. They start simple and get really crazy. But first, fresh coffee. Ow! That's too hot. I'm gonna use this robot arm to stir the coffee and cool it down. By the way, these are virtual reality motion controllers for gaming. They track my hand movements and make the robot arms copy them. But what's also cool about this is they have some extra buttons for some extra functionality. Have you noticed that while I'm talking, this arm keeps stirring even though I put the controller down? That's because I can record an action and play it back on a loop. This is gonna come in handy for a few of my challenges. This is my next challenge, soccer. Robot soccer. We start by passing the ball. And another pass. Setting up the shot. Will we score? Goal! High five. That was awesome, but not everything went so well. I think that deserves a yellow card. And it got even worse. Oh no, broke off the base. But that was no big deal. I could just print a replacement in 30 minutes. And it inspired my next challenge, arm wrestling. As you can see, we have version zero in silver and version one in the pink. Version one is new and improved. Lighter weight, stronger, but version 0 still packs a punch. It's a close battle, but at the end, version 1, the newer version, just totally dominates. Yeah. It's strong. It can curl. While we're on the topic of weights, here's how much the arm weighs. And those are a lot of activities. I think I deserve a Reddit break but I'm not gonna scroll. I'm gonna have the robot arm scroll for me by recording, pressing the down button and looping it. Now let's get back into it because I have three mystery surprises to reveal by the end of the video. And our next challenge is basketball. I really tried, but uh, I just couldn't do it. I even tried moving the hoop closer so I can get a dunk, but I just couldn't pick up the basketball. It was too hard. That's because human fingers are amazing. I have a newfound appreciation for them. So I took some consolation dunks because I just failed my first challenge. There's always next year. I have a bunch of improvements that I want to make. And this is a big improvement on version zero. What the heck? What is that doing? Version zero had this malfunction where it would steal my phone and install some weird apps. But anyways, back to the challenges. I'm gonna play some games, starting with a simple game, Blocks. Can you guess what I'm gonna build? I'm gonna speed it up. These arms are kind of like babies. And once the like button is done, we smash it. And let's switch to another simple task. Flipping a switch. A light switch. And our next challenge is chess. With this tiny chessboard. Now I'm going to speed up some parts here. It's very hard to grip plastic on plastic. I tried pushing the pieces, but that's not possible for something like a knight, which is also very hard to grip because of its weird shape. Eventually, I got a sign that I should just give up. So I decided to move on to another game, Jenga. Now I apologize here that your view is blocked, but I wanted to show all three rounds that I played. Robots versus humans. Can you guess who came out the victor? This first round went pretty well. I wanted to make sure I wasn't sloppy and tried hard, even though I don't usually play Jenga. And it seemed like we were gonna get a long round until a malfunction. I'm not sure how to count it, but I'll just say humans won, robot arms zero. So I reset for round two. This was a longer round. I would say I definitely have an advantage because I can feel how the tower's weight is shifting. Although the robot can be quite precise because the arms are smaller, 
large movements I make translate to smaller movements on the robot. Also, the robot is just weaker in general, so it's easy for me to accidentally knock something over. I'm going to speed things up here because I did really feel out a lot of blocks, and I was really surprised when this happened. Now the score is human arms one, robot arms one. This is going to be the tiebreaker. Now I'm going to make this last round of Jenga speedy since you already saw two rounds, but it didn't last very long anyway, only three blocks until this happened. Remember that we have 20 challenges and I'm just about halfway through. Since Jenga was so complex, I wanted to do something simple. So after printing an attachment, I was able to put a Sharpie on one of my arms and gave myself some easy things to do. And keep in mind, even though things like this may seem easy on paper, there is a difference between controlling a robot arm to do something and doing it with your human hands. We have years and years of experience using our hands for certain tasks. Think about how hard it is to write with your left hand if you're right-handed or vice versa. Anyway, this task was pretty easy to get the hang of, so I decided to draw a little smiley face to celebrate. And I have one other challenge that involves art as well. I was feeling pretty accomplished now, so I decided to try something a little more complex. Some motions worked all right. It was super satisfying to catch things, but throwing wasn't quite there, especially in certain directions. So I decided to just take a dunk and pat myself on the back, which felt surprisingly nice and weirded me out a little. It's a good time to reveal our first twist, which is even more robots, starting with Twitchbot, who we're gonna use to play football. And if you don't know the rules of American football, you have to get to the end zone past the defenders. And Twitchbot almost made it on the first try. Eventually, I decided to do some steering. And at this point, it made it super easy. We got our first touchdown of the night. I thought adding another robot to play would be fun, so I whipped out RecycleBot. But the size is too much. I threw that idea in the trash. So instead, let's reveal another mystery twist. Which is taking our robot arms and adding artificial intelligence, or AI. I don't have a bunch of extra intelligence lying around, but I heard that artificial intelligence is like a little brain that you add to your robots. So I tried adding in a little brain, but it didn't fit. So I added some code instead. If this camera detects a motion, after a short delay for dramatic effect, it does this and then resets. It's meant to scare off any birds, which we all know are government spy drones. So my camera doesn't die, I got a little bit of rice. I'm gonna lure them in. I set it up on my balcony. And now we play the waiting game. This is gonna take a while, so let's come back to it. All these challenges are making me hungry, and I got a hankering for some name brand snacks. But they're all the way over there. Uh. I wonder what I, wonder what I can do. Hmm. And you probably already guessed a robot arm conveyor belt. This is another instance where the version one is miles ahead of version zero. By the way, this took me four minutes. Yay. Thanks buddy. But after having chips, I wanted something healthier. So I passed myself this fruit stick in the shape of a relay race baton. Uh, 
I think it's time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. <laughs> but you know what I could really go for? Some spicy nuts. Okay, now let's get back to the challenges. We're gonna do painting, but I'm gonna add in our final twist, which is something that is truly incredible. A wall. Now how am I going to paint if I can't see what I'm painting? Well, I could use one of these arms which has a camera and pipe that into a VR headset. Also part of my twist if you didn't notice. I'm running the code that controls the robot arms in a VR application anyway, so it's simple to do. Here's it in action. The robot is painting. Pretty simple stuff so I'm going to speed it up. Now this is the easiest case, but imagine me painting with all four arms at the same time or even painting from a distance. Pretty cool. But here's what I got. It's an abstract art piece. You know what? I'm more of a musician. Yo, I'm gonna make my arms play in a loop. It'll free me up to bust a rap like Snoop. Yo, I got two to the two arms that is four. I'm gonna build more. You know what's in store? I'm gonna stop cause I'm bored. Hey, let's check in with our Scarecrow project. After a few hours of no luck, I tried bringing it outside. And I almost lured some birds, but they were skittish. At this point, I was way too committed. I decided to go to where pigeons hang out. And you know pigeons, they're bold in the city. I laid down some rice and just waited. And they were cautious at first. I realized the arm kind of looks like a snake, and they were moving very slowly towards it, but eventually, this is what happened. They ate all the rice, and it didn't trigger. Turns out the motion algorithm had the sensitivity set too low. So I went home, tweaked that parameter, and came back. And right after I set things up, some guy came by with some high-quality birdseed, and just spread out a buffet. Luckily, he was nice, and we had a conversation about pigeons. After a few minutes, though, one bird was in the mood for some rice. And that was enough. I think it works pretty well. I think I might have to revisit this concept when Halloween rolls around. But to scare humans, I've messed with birds enough, and I don't want the government to come after me. Ah, uh, hello. There we go. Hi. That was it, all 20 challenges. Now that I'm done with these challenges, I can finally get rid of these arms. Ah, what the? 